This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. According to the latest numbers from the city, Chicago has placed more than 12,000 migrants into 25 shelters across the area. But almost 4,000 are still waiting to be placed. A proposed plan for more temporary housing is at the center of debate at a meeting last night. Glenn Marshall is following that part of the story. Yeah, yesterday's meeting was a heated one as community members voiced their concerns about the migrant camp site that's potentially coming to Brighton Park. Lots of yelling took place inside a 15th Ward meeting Tuesday night. Residents gathered to speak out on the migrant camp potentially coming to the 38th and California location. It will house 2,000 migrants. They're going to get everything handed to them, and that's not fair. I understand that there's a lot of feelings of what about us. I believe that right now we're in a situation where people are coming here out of necessity. The campsite will give migrants a temporary warm location away from police stations. And while 15th Ward residents were heard, the site will not even be located in their area. It will be in the 12th Ward, but that didn't stop dozens of people from having an opinion. All of these decisions result in your taxes going up. I'd like to give you 500 of those people in your backyard. 15th Ward Auto Person Raymond Lopez also found issues with the proposed site, saying it's a location no one should be forced to live on. This location is wrong. It is a toxic brownfield for all intents and purposes. It used to be a dumping ground for the railroad. It's got zinc carcinogens all in the dirt. And we're now going to asphalt it over and put 2,000 people on top. There's a reason why there has been no, no nothing there. With the campsite potentially coming to Brighton Park, 12th Ward auto person Julia Ramirez did not show up to the meeting, but called out auto person Lopez for hosting it, saying in a statement, clearly the alderman is trying to score political points since it's practically unheard of an alderman to hold a community meeting about something happening in their colleague's ward. And Chicago officials have said that the migrant camp will have unarmed security guards with an 11 p.m. curfew for migrants. Now, they will be able to go in and out as they please, but will have to sign in and out as well as use metal detectors. Back to you guys in the studio.